So here's another example using the difference quotient to find the um, slope of any secant line that goes through this function right here. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, our f of x plus h, just so it's clear, wherever I see x, I put x plus h. So therefore, this would be 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h. And here's our original function f of x. So let's just use the formula here. So the slope of any secant line that goes through this function is this piece right here, which is 2x plus h squared minus 3x plus h minus this whole function f of x. So I'm going to put that in parentheses so I don't forget to distribute the negative. And we put that all over h. H. So I'm going to multiply this piece here, distribute this negative 3, and distribute that negative there. So the slope of my secant would be 2 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Distribute that 3, which is negative 3x minus 3h. Distribute that negative, which is negative 2x squared plus 3x. 3x, excuse me, I don't know what that was, all over h. And let's distribute the 2 as well. So we get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h. 2x squared plus 3x. All over h. Notice that my terms without h's cancel. If that doesn't happen, you made a mistake. So notice that I have three terms. All of them are in terms of h. And there's an h in the denominator, so the convenient thing is all those h's are going to cancel in a second. So let's just rewrite my numerator. Nice line. 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3h all over h. And I'm going to divide each all three of these by h. I have to divide all three of them by h or it's illegal. So the h goes away, the h goes away, the h goes away. So the slope of our secant is 4x plus 2h minus 3. So this generates the slope of any secant line that goes through this function and any x value and some corresponding h, which is some distance away from x. So let's do the first calculation here where h is a half and our x value is negative 1. So the slope of our secant line that goes through x is negative 1 and h is 0.5 would be 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0 0.5 uh, minus 3. Let me just check my work here. That's correct. So therefore, I get negative 6. So let's look at that using geometer sketchpad. So x is negative 1, our h value is 0.5. So let's just pause. OK, by looking at geometer sketchpad, here is our function f of x, 2x squared minus 3x. Um, our initial x value a is at negative 1. Uh, which is uh, right up here, negative 1. And our second value is uh, 0.5 away, so that means it's to the right, so therefore there is my b value right here. My b value is kind of hanging out down there, but it's right there. And it's a distance of 0.5 away. And according to my calculation, which is the same thing as using the difference quotient right here, um, using this, and it's just a little different form because that's the best way I could get it to work. I got negative, negative not, excuse me, negative 5.98. Uh, again, that's just because um, uh, the rounding of these values here, if I went out to two decimal places, I would uh, be able to get this to be exactly negative 6. But let's just assume that it's equal to negative 6 and call it a day. Um, so therefore, the slope of this secant line, you can't really see the secant line too well because it's right in line with the function. Um, just to keep in mind, um, this is, we can do is any two x values that we want. So therefore, I could put x to be up at, let's say, negative 2. So notice I got my x value to be up at negative 2. And then my second value, which is some distance away, which in this case is 4.18 away in its current state, um, it can be, I can move this anywhere I want. And I didn't have to put this at an integer value, negative 2. I could put this at any value I want. And then this is some h distance away, 4.05 away from negative 1.38. And then I'm still generating the slope of the secant line using this formula here, which again is equivalent to this formula here, just in geometer sketchpad notation. Um, so it's very versatile um, as opposed to the average rate of change function where you have a fixed um, x value that you need to use. So let's find um, 
the slope of our secant line when x is negative 1 and h is 0.1. So the slope of our secant line when x is equal to negative 1 and h is 0.1. That'll be 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0.1 minus 3. And according to my calculations, that is equal to negative 6.8. And let's look at that using geometry sketchpad. So notice that the, uh, my x value is at negative 1 again. And the distance uh, of h is 0.1, so therefore our two points are uh, 0.1 away. And the slope of our secant line uh, generated using this formula here is negative 6.81 according to the geometry sketchpad. Again, if I put this out to three decimal places, or excuse me, yeah, there, I already have it two decimal places, um, I would be able to get these exactly the same, but that just takes too much time to move these points back and forth to make sure that, they, that this calculates out to exactly negative 6.8. Um, but we're going to call that close enough, so therefore the slope of this secant line on this function through x equals negative 1 and the second point being 0.1 away, which in this case is to the right, so therefore it would be a negative 0.9. x value is negative 0.9. The slope of that secant line is negative 6.8. And so finally, let's find the last one when h is even smaller at 0.01. So the slope of our secant line at x equals negative 1 and our slope is 0.01 is equal to 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0.01 minus 3. And according to my previous calculations, that's equal to negative 6.98. And let's just verify that with the graphing, excuse me, with geometry sketch. Okay, so notice that uh, our x value is negative 1 again. The distance between x and the second point is 0.01. Our h value is 0.01. And it looks like, according to our calculations on geometry sketchpad, it's 6.99. Again, that's close enough. On our function, f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x. Um, so therefore, it looks like as h gets even smaller and smaller, that um, the slope of our secant line is getting closer and closer to negative 7. Um, and I, unfortunately, in this scenario, which is kind of strange, as I move it so that the h value is 0, or the distance between the two points, um, it ends up not getting very happy. Um, oh, yeah, there it worked. The distance between the two of them is zero. I just moved the x value on, excuse me, I moved the initial. Let me pause here first. So look how I have an h value of the distance between the two points is zero. I'm still at x equals negative one, and it says negative 7.01. So therefore, when I change the secant line into a tangent line, meaning the distance between the two points is zero, or the a and b are on top of each other, as you can see, they're right on top of each other. Uh, you can't actually tell the difference between the two of them. Um, at negative 1, the slope of our uh, tangent line, because it's now no longer a secant line, it is going through two points, but the two points are on top of each other. Uh, according to John Sketchpad, it's negative 7.01. So therefore, this question here, letter C, says what happens to the slope of our secant line as h approaches 0 or as h gets very, very small? Well, notice that it goes from negative 6.8 to negative 6, excuse me, negative 6 to negative 6.8 to negative 6.98. It looks like it's telling us it's getting closer to negative 7. Lastly, it says find the equation of the secant line. Well, we know that these at h is 0.01 and our x value is negative 1. So that is equal to negative 6.98. So the slope of our secant is negative 6.98. And we need to know what our function value is, where our function is, I think, 3x squared minus 2x, 2x squared minus 3x. So we need to know a y value, so that's 2x squared minus 3x, so that's 2 times 1 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So therefore, this equation of our secant line will be y minus 5 equals 6.98x minus 1, because it's a negative 1, so that's just a plus 1. So this is negative 6.98x plus 1 plus 5. So this is y equals negative 6.98x minus 6.98 plus 5. So the equation of our secant line that goes through x is negative 1 and our distance of h is 0.01 is negative 6.98x minus 1.98. And that's correct. Okay, that's it.